welcome back to the gas chamber, which we could have probably... <laughs> I don't know. To the gas. Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh! Snake, I'm opening the door! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, last Ooh. snack of the day is gonna be this Hey, look! The door opened. Oh, oh look what! These things are getting smushed. I don't like that. Yeah, that's... Ew. Oh. Uh oh, here's more exposition. Okay. Uh, go I gotta go wash my hands. Uh oh, he's look at him. He's sure, sitting over there. He's sure, just standing sure. over there, menacingly. Liquid snake. Did you like my sunglasses? Do they have a third. Is that Patrick who said that? You'd point a weapon at yeah. your own uh, brother. Yeah, I know. Disguise <laughs> yourself as master. They have a third. So I can manipulate you more easily. No, his name is Solidus. Well, I must say. <laughs> no, right? The boys sure at the Pentagon are probably melts. saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders, you with no questions no asked, way, yeah. you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Man, I have a lot of sugar today. Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages. It was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact <laughs> with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they I could retrieve Metal Gear shopping. undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. It can't be. Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered the Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. We don't know. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Uh, anyway, yeah. it might prove to be unnecessary. Why is that? I'm not going to need any more either. You were coming into contact with all of us, so we must sugar run through my veins to the virus. It's true that the Arctic president it's and decoy octopus. The fuck you put that right on my shirt? Die. But Ocelot, <laughs> myself, and you, the carrier. What would happen? Are you fucking with me, dude? Are you fucking with me? That was a good shot. In any case. I don't even know where it went. Genetic code is identical. So it's true. We're gonna get that off the couch so it don't melt. That shit melts. Put it right here. Put it right on my wall. We're twins linked by genes. Les enfants. Les enfants terrible. You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive gene. Was with the cuts Everything was right done now. so that you would be the great like, of his children. Yeah, the only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? Jesus, what an asshole. What? I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! <laughs> you should revenge. understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him. I will destroy him. You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you. Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. Uh -oh. Yeah. For 
a fun game. This is a final fight. Snake, your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon. Consider it an this honor, a gift from your brother. I guess you could say that. Now, I'll show you the power of this weapon that will lead us Liquid. in the Liquid. 21st Liquid. century. Is this is actually he's... his brother? His twin brother. Brothers of Destruction? <laughs> they gave Solid Snake all the good things. They gave them all the good things. That's why I was like, well, I was garbage. But then I was like, how do stop it? Yeah, because they're both genetically enhanced. Clones of Big Boss. Yeah. They're not real. So Big Boss isn't really a father, but he's looked as, you know, their creator. Yeah, sure. They're more like brothers than than you know children. <laughs> Don't you start that shit. Get the fuck out Just of here. Fucking go back to Rick and Morty. <laughs> no. I gotta focus on this boss. Boy. Awesome. He's dick you, gotta whip, you gotta whip his brother's ass. Just shoot him with a dick laser. Well, he's got a lot of, you know, other things. What the hell is this? It's a Metal Gear. Okay. It's the thing that... It's the thing I've been talking about, the nuke. Oh, crap. No, nukes. I don't think it's working. I don't think that's working. Out on all the squid. I like that squid. You smelled it. Oh, it here. God damn. Oh, I don't even have to. You only have a little bit of life bar. So they were gonna like try to take over the whole country with this thing. <laughs> Where it's just like they're fighting one guy with it that's going to beat it later. That seemed like a good plan. This is Metal Gear Rex. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that. I can't remember how to dodge though. you're doing though. Well I'm sure there's like a lot more to this fight to beat this. Yeah. I would hope. Oh shit. I may not make it for many. Phase oh. one is completely yeah. wasted. Ah! 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 What did you get? Where is it? Oh, I don't, don't touch me! Do you want me to help don't, find it? Don't touch me! Ah! Find it! <laughs> ah! It's a monster! Oh, God! Ah! Oh, God! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, shit. Focus. Focus. Um. That's a strong dude. It sounds better. They do this scene so much better justice than Prince does. It just looks so much better. make a mess out of anything. I didn't make a mess. Why? What do you want from me? I am prisoner of death. You're missing a good scene here. Oh, I had shit all over me. It's Gray Fox. It's Naomi's brother. Look. She's hell bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi. You're the only one who can stop her. Here you one. I can't. No, it's dead. There's because I but wait, there's killed her parents. Isn't that? He's the one who killed her parents. And couldn't bring myself to kill her too. I felt so bad that I decided to take it with me. I raised her like she was my own blood to soothe food. my guilty conscience. Oh. But now oh, she thinks of me as her brother. Mark's. From the outside, we might have seemed like a happy brother and sister. 
But every time I looked at her, I saw her parents' eyes staring back at me. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. There you are! We're just about out of time. Here's a final present from Deep Throat. Deep Throat. I'll stop it from moving! Box! Oh shit! What the hell's going on? Crush the ninja into the wall. Royal Harry. Fox. How strong is that exoskeleton of yours? Snake! Are you just going to sit oh, damn. and watch him die? Gordon Fox is more dangerous than a jackal. He destroyed the radar. Impressive. Impressive! You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox, but now you're finished! Uh, no! Fire the stinger! Fox! Can you really shoot? You'll kill him too! Now, in now. front of you, I can finally die. If you try to shoot, I can't do it. Snake just says I can't do it. I can't do it. Neither no truly good. alive I can't do nor it. truly dead. An undying shadow no. in a world I can't of light. Do it. But soon, soon it will find no. me. I can't do it. I can't do it. So Fox destroyed the radio, which is the thing that helps him see without having to have the canopy open. Yeah. So now I can just hit him directly. He needs some rash. He smashed it in your mouth. That's what he did. Uh, you did.
kicking your ass. Dude, get... This is serious. Holy a douche. Where the hell are all the fucking... Yeah. Oh, there's nothing I could have done. Dead. Yeah, there's nothing I could have done. I don't know what the fuck, where all the fucking ammo went. Well, yeah. That was pretty good. Missed all your shots. Swear to God. I gotta redo the whole fight. Not the whole fight. Yeah, no. Oh. Or 16 minutes in, no. Better not to Now, in front of I wish I could skip this part. I can finally die. God, I can't. After Zanzibar, I was taken from the battle. I got 26 stamps of No, neither truly I can't do it. 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 I love how you can walk on the light. Yeah, who makes this kind of shit? Can do it. Can you hear a snake going, can't do it? We didn't waste all of the missiles in the first fight. Fucking dudes, here. Them up that time. I figured out how to dodge the fuck you into dust. Figured out how to dodge the uh, missiles. They're not that big of a bitch to dodge in twin snakes. You can kind of have them. This one, you can't fucking outrun them at all. position.
Liquid, you're still alive. I won't die. As long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying This guy's dead now. <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things oh, are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor chaos. back to this world gone soft. That's what we need Conflict now. will breed conflict. Jesus New Christ, hatred will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You love oh. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. That's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? Sure. That was... <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. There's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Les enfants terribles. The Terrible Children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the super. Did you win the game or are you have an art fight? Baby method. They fertilized an egg with one of Father's <laughs> cells and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. Well, he's still not mad. But <laughs> you and I. Reminds me of that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, what? And Danny DeVito. The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic. Arnold gets all the good genes, and Danny DeVito gets the shitty ones. Did you? <laughs> Sounds like that's the exactly the same. Human yeah. genome project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Yeah, it was actually pretty damn funny. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldiers oh, yeah, real responsible footage, yeah. for everything from strategic thinking strategic. to the proverbial killer instinct. Man, these graphics Those are really soldier real. genes were transplanted into the members of the real next footage. generation oh. special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. <laughs> That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers. Look at that. With the same Cutting edge genes technology. as ours. 
And back then, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. The genome soldiers. That's right. Yeah, they right. are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Yeah, Human stupid. experiments! 1991, the Gulf War. Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. <laughs> and that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. No. First they tried oh. to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-sarin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes. They, too, are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool! They're a complete failure! <laughs> we are on the verge of extinction! What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. <clears throat> Those species which have gone extinct <coughs> show signs of symmetry. <coughs> the genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. <coughs> so do I. As do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic <coughs> level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want big cause DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. In order to break the curse of my heritage. Yeah, it's supposed to rain. And to do that, first, I will kill you. Oh, gasp. Look behind you! No! Is she alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No! We have no past, no future, and even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear I'm me? listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Uh. Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. <clears throat> now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. 
He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? What? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake, the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houchman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed man. that he was in command of the <clears throat> operation. You bastard. <laughs> there won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. The president ordered this? The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh well, that's okay. That's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Oh. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Farewell. What a what an asshole. What a prick. <laughs> There's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. That's the you stole hell. everything. Where the hell is the storm at? Like, I mean, so your no death can shit. satisfy me. Only yeah, what the hell is going on, on my radar? There's like nothing on my radar. What is rightly mine. It's like to the mobiles. She'll make a beat. It's, it's a little pop-up. I so radar don't have shit on it. It's a pop-up, so. What the hell's going on? What kind of radar is that? There ain't nothing on the whole goddamn a band, country. Get a it's fucking weather channel. It will be the time limit. Or go to the National Weather Channel. Oh, this cool. nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise okay. moment of her death. Want a junior mitt? No. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. If you cross this line, you fall. At this height, it will kill even you. Even you. What are they trying to do here? Fight. They're going to have a fight before they die? Yeah. Yep. So next time. <laughs> we'll finish this next go, time. Go, 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 go. We're like 90 minutes.